Val. All right, watching a storm system come in from the west as we look at a view from the Boise Tower Cam. Uh, Four dealers Tower Cam from high atop the Grove Hotel. You see that cloud cover coming in, getting a little grayer out there, and there's some moisture. We'll get some showers this evening. The further west you go, watch out for freezing rain. We could have icy spots developing on some roadways uh, as we speak in northern Malheur County. 40 degrees in Boise, though. It's the further west you go that it is colder. Again, high temperatures today. We're at 40 in McCall, 47 in Stanley. The inversion is still in place. Barely touch 50 in Mountain Home, got to 45 degrees in Boise. Some places a little bit warmer, but there's that pocket of cool air in the Western Valley with Ontario only at 30 degrees during the day today. Up in the McCall area, I mentioned 40 degrees. There's going to be some snow coming in up here this morning down to 11. You see that the fiery red sunset as cloud cover began to increase over the top of the inversion and you see that 39. Those temperatures will drop. We'll get some rain coming in tonight and then eventually by tomorrow at some point during the day we're going to mix with snow and then maybe accumulate a little bit of snow as well in the McCall area. And that'll be the case on all of central Idaho. Look at the mild temperatures to the south and west. 55 in Bend, 67 degrees in Medford today. How about that in southwest Oregon? So that's that mild flow of air beginning to pour on in and with it a lot of moisture. So freezing rain showing up in the uh, orange peach color here. And this is northern Malheur County. This is where our freezing rain advisories. We get a freezing rain here in the next uh, few minutes coming into the western valley. We're on Homedale as well right now. Ada County, some rain showers will come in from this moisture right here as you move through tonight. Some heavier rain showers are possible overnight. I think we may have a break tomorrow morning as you're heading off to school or work. Again, icy roads are possible in the western lower valley tomorrow morning. And then in the afternoon, uh, a lot of this moisture will start to come through as a cold front. We could get some strong gusty wind shift and uh, some heavy downpours coming in tomorrow afternoon. That high pressure dry weather is exiting to the east and all these storm systems, you see them curving up to the north. They're going to start to push in towards California. And northern California is going to get pummeled with moisture. Right now, it is hitting just extreme northern California, but we're just watching that Oroville Dam. Again, it is at capacity, and the, the spillway has been damaged there. Uh, that's what we're going to keep an eye on here, and there's a lot of moisture coming in. Let's first of all look at the future cast. A couple of showers here at 1030 tonight. Overnight, we see the rain coming in, and even rain up in McCall. Snow only in the highest of elevations. That snow level will come down. Here's heading off to work and school tomorrow. Maybe a break in the action, but then in the afternoon, Afternoon, more showers. This could be a cold front that could blast through with some heavier precipitation. Then a break on Friday, but Friday night and the weekend, more rain is coming on in. And precipitation wise, with this first wave for tonight through tomorrow evening, maybe a quarter inch in the Western Valley, a tenth of an inch in Boise, and a little more than a half inch in mountain locations, rain and snow mixed. It is this next seven day forecast here a tremendous amount of moisture for the Central Mountains, two to four inches of moisture at least. That's 20 to 40 inches of snow in the higher elevations over the next week. And this is the Oroville area right here. That's a bullseye of 14 inches of moisture, not snow. That would be 145 inches of snow falling in the mountains above that dam over the next week. That is not good news. I'm going to keep you updated. There's flooding already going on through much of the Sacramento Valley. Temperatures tomorrow, freezing rain in the Western Valley, and then we'll warm things back up to near 50 in the Treasure Valley, the rest of the Treasure Valley, with showers especially during the afternoon. While in the West Central Mountains tomorrow, I expect temperatures to be falling, and so the rain will turn back over to snow. Camas Prairie at 36, 36 in Stanley with snow, 3 to 6 inches likely. Quick check at the Magic Valley forecast. I will just tell you, rain Rain showers are possible, not as much as in the Treasure Valley. My extended forecast, your break on Friday, but over the weekend, more rain. Temperatures could stay above freezing the entire time, could get real mild next Tuesday. But look at the chances of precipitation all the way through, and there'll be a lot of snow falling in Idaho's higher elevations it's this week. Wet. It sure is. It's on again. Here it goes. All right, thanks, Scott. Nothing is off the table.